Hey YouTube world, Sean here. So today I'm going to be doing a front fascia swap on my 2020 Polaris Razor S4 1000. Um, this is the older generation front fascia that came on like the 14 to 18 XP 1000s and the XP 1000 turbos. Um, they left that old front fascia on the 14 to 20 uh, S models. So we're gonna be swapping that front fascia, which looks like that guy right there, uh, over to the new 19 to current um, turbo and uh, XP1000 front fascia with the fang lights. So without further ado, let's get started on that. All right, so here is a list of the parts that you're going to need to do this swap. You're gonna need the front fascia, main grill, left mini grill, right mini grill, a winch cover either with the cutout or without the cutout, left fang light, right fang light, push nuts for the fang lights. Um, they come in a pack of 10, but you'll only need six of them. Uh, from razorparts.com, you need the fascia, conversion, swap bracket, and also the fang light harness if your razor doesn't already come with fang lights. Okay, so first things first, we're going to remove the old front fascia and hood. We're going to mount up the new front fascia, and we're going to set the adapter bracket on top of it. We're going to make a couple marks to know where we need to trim off a couple little tabs on the new front fascia. Uh, we'll get that trimmed off and then we'll get it all assembled and put back together. So let's get started on that. Okay, so now that we've got the old front fascia off, you're going to have to remove two brackets. Uh, there's going to be one right here and one right there. They're held on by a 13 millimeter bolt. If you don't remove those, the new front fascia won't sit flush uh, against the mounting points. So get those taken off and then we can put the new front fascia on uh, and then we'll do the measuring for the cutting for the adapter bracket for the hood. So let's get that done. Okay, so the next step we're gonna have to do is we have to mark this new bracket. So this is the bracket, uh, it's the aftermarket bracket from razorparts.com that is going to allow for your factory hood to fit back on your razor once you install the new fascia. Um, so you have to do a, a little bit of trimming. What you do is you're gonna line it up. And what I did is I took a pick and I just marked out um, a line of exactly where I needed to uh, cut this. So that's my line right there. Basically, we're gonna cut this whole piece out. Um, we're gonna do it on both sides so the bracket can sit flush. Uh, that'll allow your hood to go back on. Uh, once the bracket is sitting flush, we're gonna go ahead and pre-drill the holes and we're gonna uh, screw it down in place. So let's get that done. Okay, so here's how the uh, bracket's going to sit now that we notched those pieces out uh, with the hood on. I did notice here that there is these little corners sticking out. Um, I think I'm just gonna cut these uh, little tiny corners off of there just so that you're not gonna see those, you're not gonna get in the way or anything. But other than that, uh, that's what it looks like. You can also buy the, uh, I think it's the 14 to 18 turbo hood that would also fit on this as well. And I might end up, end up doing that, but for now I'm just gonna roll with the uh, stock Razor S hood. So let me get those notched out and then we'll move on from there. Okay, so now that I've lined up everything, I'm gonna go ahead and mark these holes, um, pre-drill them and then screw them down or bolt the bracket down with the supplied hardware that came with the bracket. 
All right, so this is what it looks like with the front fascia and the razor parts bracket installed together. All that's left to do is wire up the uh, fang lights, which you're going to wire the positive to the ACC control, the negative obviously to the ground. Um, we'll install the grills and we'll reassemble this whole thing, install the headlights, and we'll bolt it back on and we'll be all set. So let's get going on that. All right, so here's the final product. Obviously, you can see the before fascia and the after fascia um, obviously makes a big difference in the appearance of this. So if you guys have any questions about doing this swap, please don't hesitate to leave a comment in the comment section below. I'm more than happy to respond back to those. And if you wouldn't mind, give this video a like, um, subscribe to my channel for new content. I'm always trying to do things like this, these kind of do-it-yourself videos really uh, cuts down on the labor that you have to pay someone else to go do. So once again, thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next video.